Alright, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on the P0122 code. That's your throttle position sensor, a circuit low input. Basically, the computer's saying the signal coming from your throttle position sensor is too low. It's below what it expects to see when the key's on and the throttle's closed. The TPS tells the ECM how far open the throttle is, and if the signal voltage drops too low, like under half a volt, it thinks something's wrong and throws the code. So here's where to start. First, check for any symptoms. You might notice rough idle, poor throttle response, hesitation when accelerating, or it might even go into limp mode where it won't rev past a certain point. The TPS is usually mounted right on the throttle body, which is connected to your intake manifold. Just follow the big intake hose coming from the air filter and it will lead you right to it. If you don't have a scanner, by the way, most AutoZone or O'Reilly stores will loan you one for free. Just ask at the counter. If you've got an OBD2 scanner with live data, plug it in and go to the throttle position sensor reading. With the key on, engine off, your TPS should read somewhere around 0.5 to 1.0 volts at closed throttle, and then smoothly climb up toward 4 to 5 volts at wide open throttle. If it's stuck low or jumps around, there's your issue. So what can cause the P0122? First, a faulty throttle position sensor. This is the most common. They wear out or go bad internally and start sending low signals. Second, wiring issue. Check the connector and wires going to the TPS. Look for any broken wires, corrosion, or if the connector is loose. Third, bad ground or low reference voltage. If the sensor isn't getting proper voltage from the ECM, it won't work right. Fourth, throttle body issues. On newer cars with electronic throttle bodies, the whole thing might be the issue, not just the sensor. Fifth, a faulty ECM. Rare, but if all else checks out, the computer could be at fault. Start by unplugging the TPS and check the connector for bent pins, dirt or corrosion. Clean it out if needed and plug it back in. If that doesn't help, test the voltage at the sensor with a multimeter. You should see 5 volts on the reference wire a ground, and the signal wire should be around 0.5 to 1 volt with the key on. If you're not getting the right signal, go ahead and replace the TPS. They're usually not too expensive and often just held in with a couple screws. On drive-by-wire systems, sometimes you have to replace the whole throttle body if it's not serviceable. Once you swap it, clear the code and take it for a test drive. So yeah, check the sensor, clean the connector, test for voltage and replace it if needed. Clear the code and drive it. If it stays off, you're good. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.